Hey guys, it's Tab the Caro, and if you have wondered, is it possible to like put your live calendar, Google Calendar, into a Google Slides presentation that will update as you update the calendar? It actually is possible at the time of this video. Um, I came across this platform that will do it for free, and like here's an example of what this looks like. So this is a smart class website um, that teachers use to um, keep their parents informed. So when they click, this is what they're going to see. And whenever this um, Google Calendar updates, whenever you make a change, um, every six hours or every 24 hours, whatever you choose, it's going to update also for your viewer. And it's so crazy because it's basically like a screenshot that's live. So um, we're going to do it together if you're interested, and hopefully um, I explain this okay. So if you were curious about the Smart Class website, I do have a free digital newsletter that you could try out this workshop with um, by just duplicating a page and putting your calendar there. So you just go to bit.ly slash free digital newsletter for that. All right, so um, if you want a full smart class website and you want to do this with me that way, you can also go to bit.ly slash scwallfj and uh, look in the description. I'll have a discount for you as well. So let's get started. First things first, um, I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of the Donuts smart class website, just like you saw. And we need to, there is a lot of steps in this. I will so just stop me in the video and go step by step. And I talk slow, so hopefully you won't even need to stop the video. But first you want to create a class Google Calendar. I'm assuming that you do not have that already. So um, let's just go to, well, I guess right here, when you're in your Google account, go to Google Apps, click on Calendar. And you will go over here to, um, so right here, I actually have one. So this one is Demo Classroom, but I'm kind of nervous um, to use that one because I think I use it for a different reason. So if you want to do a new calendar, let's just go over here to Other Calendars, click on the plus sign, Create New Calendar Classroom Calendar, and we will create that calendar. Now, let's see um, what our next step is. We're going to create a separate Google or Gmail account to just display your calendar. And the reason being is, as far as I understand, if I were to take a... Um, it did create my calendar, right? If I were to take just a screenshot of this view with um, the platform we're going to use, then um, it's going to show all your calendars. So your family, you know, all that stuff that you probably don't want that showing. So um, that's why I recommend um, just using and it. Also, this platform, it's called Plus Docs, you know, I can't 100% vouch for it, you know, and it's like actually taking, getting, you know, a view of your calendar. So I just say do it all in a separate Google account so that we all feel safe about this. So I do have classroom calendars right here. All right. So um, I'm just going to add in um, just a date right here so that we can get a read on it and um, know that it's working. All right, so let's go. Um, I'm just going to, I'm in Chrome. I'm going to go to profiles, add profile, um, continue without an account. And I'm just going to put test. And then I'm going to go to um, the apps right here, or you could just click here on Gmail and let's create an account. And you could just call this calendar view or, you know, something like that. In fact, um, we'll do that. Okay, guys, so I had a lot of trouble and Google actually didn't let me like do a new account because of my phone number had been used too many times. 
So um, hopefully you don't run into that. You're probably not a Gmail freak like me. So I'm going to go to the one that I created. I actually used this um, tip for challenges um, to show a challenge schedule. So we will just use this um, as the example. So let's go back to our instructions. Let's say you've done the separate Gmail account without issue like I did. Okay, so you need to make that um, calendar public that you have. So mine's right here. So to do that, we're going to go to settings and sharings and we're going to make available to public. Okay. And we want them to see all event details and then we want to get shareable link. So we will copy that link and then we will go to um, our new Gmail account and um, just paste that share link and we're going to add it and hopefully we should see it pop up um, right here. So classroom calendars is there, test is there. So I'm going to actually undo these other calendars you just want in this extra Gmail account. You just want to show what you want to show, which is your school calendar. All right, so let's um, so now what we need to do is you need the edit link for your Google Slides doc so that you can open this up in your new Gmail account. So I am going to take this Google Slides doc, my website, and I'm going to go to share, restricted, change it to anyone with the link, can edit, then I'll copy that link go over to my new Gmail account, just paste that in here, and there it is. All right, now we are ready to use the Plus Docs platform. It gives you up to five different screenshots or snapshots, I believe is what it calls it. So I'm going to take this link, copy it, and um, if I don't have this in the description, hopefully I will, you just go to apps.plusdocs.com and we need to create a new Google account with it, which for me, um, thankfully, well, I already have this done, so this is one of my snapshots, but you'll need to create an account with, you wanna create it with your new Google account. Then, so that's step one to get everything kind of connected. You'll need to do three different things. One is just create an account. Second is to add their Chrome extension. And third is to add their Google Slides add-on. So I'll have these links in the description. But, so we've already made an account. Now we need to make sure that their Chrome extension is up here. So to do that, just go to their Chrome extension um, link and add it, install, and make sure it's up here. If you don't find it, just click on the puzzle piece, and I like to pin things so that they stay up here where I can see them. All right, then you also want to do the Google Slides add-on, so let's do that as well in your new Google account. We will go to that and install. So once you have done all of that, we are ready for the magic. If you have any questions, please let me know um, and you know ask them in the comments. All right, so we're going to open our school calendar in everything's in the new Google account. And with the Chrome extension, we're going to take a snapshot. So we'll go over here to our our Google Calendar, and we are going to go right here to the Chrome extension, click on it, take snapshot, it's going to open it up in this window, and we're going to click and drag. So to be honest, um, you might want to, you, you know, do this more than once or twice to just kind of figure out, let's see. Um, so I'm going to, for example, um, reload request. 
you may want things to be a little bit more vertical if your document is portrait, but if it's widescreen like a presentation, then the wider the better. Since this is going into a portrait smart class website, I'm going to actually make it a little bit skinnier, but you don't want to go too skinny because then you can, you know, parents are not going to be able to see the text of the event. So we will start over and now we are ready. So um, I'm going to make sure that I get in the date, the month, all that good stuff. And let's go like this. And I'll go down as far as the calendar goes. And then I'm just going to let go. And I'm good to go. The location is personal. There's also team. I've only just used personal. You also have the refresh rate right here which means how many how often do you want it to refresh and grab the new updates you've made to your calendar and i do six hours if you choose manual it's not going to do it ever you have to do it so i would choose six hours or one day and then you don't need to view on plus right now you just close window so now that you have your snapshot we're going to open our Google Slides doc, in my case, a smart class website or newsletter. And we're going to open the extension or add on, which is called Plus AI for Google Slides. And we're going to select Use Live Snapshots and insert it. So let's go over here. I might need to refresh this window to make sure the add on is there. Go to Extensions. There is the add on. Go to Use Live Snapshots. And it's going to come up here on the sidebar and show me that um, snapshot. And I'm going to go down to um, any page that you want to be your calendar page. I kind of like the very last blank template that I have here. I'm going to get rid of some extra stuff. And I'm just going to click um, Google Calendar right here. And it will take a couple of seconds to get in there. But then once it does, the cool thing is it works like an image. So I'm going to just increase the size, make it as big as possible so it can be seen. And the only thing to keep in mind, I had like, you could actually crop it. But when I cropped it and when your um, snapshot updates, it goes back to the original size and looks funny. So I would not recommend... Um, I think you should be fine just um, changing the size, but just not cropping. So I'll just change this to monthly calendar. And if you're doing this on Smart Class website, you just need to make sure on your home page that you change the calendar link to whatever page your calendar is on, which is 30. So I'll go right here, 30, but Yours might be different, so just make sure you check in the sidebar. So now when they click on it, they're going to go to your built-in calendar, which is really cool. And so let me show you how this works. So um, you do not really, um, unless you want to manually refresh or whatever, you can update your calendar in your Chrome. Um, so let's say... Um, I'm going to go ahead here and add something. Let's do, um, I'll just add another event to my classroom calendar. And I'm in my regular Gmail account. So I don't have to go. The only thing, the only reason you'd want to come here is if you wanted to manually make it refresh. So I want to make sure you know that. So if you go over here, in your new Google account and your new in your Google Slides doc with your snapshot and you want to refresh it so it automatically makes the changes, then you need to go to that page, go to extensions, you've got to open it back up, and then um, you will see the option to refresh. So right here we're going to refresh and then hopefully you do have to give it just a little bit um, we're going to see the new event that I added. But you don't have to do that because you have set this to um, every six hours. It's going to automatically do it. But if time is of the essence for parents to see this update, 
then you would need to go wherever your um, plus account is and update it. And you don't actually have to do it in the Google Slides doc, I don't believe we can go over to your plus docs account and update it as well. Okay, so here it is updated. You see the new, but I also see that it has um, added in from another calendar. So I thought maybe I accidentally toggled it on, but if we look here, it is not toggled on. So basically you need to not have any other um, calendar here. So you'd want to go settings. I would need to get rid of this one, which I'm not going to right now because um, I could unsubscribe right here and get rid of it. But I'm not going to because I'm still using it. Um, but that's just that's why we do the Google account, the completely separate one, so that you're not having any other um, calendars in there showing up. So um, now if you want to actually check your plus account and tweak things there, then you just click right here on your snapshot and go to view on plus. Um, you can also just click on your um, snapshot and get the link right there. So once you're here, let's say you don't like the snapshot that you made, then um, if you just click on it here, and click up here on the hamburger icon, you can delete that snapshot, but you just need to make sure it is selected. Now, this is another cool thing I did, which was like a schedule of events view. And so all you would need to do is just go back to your calendar, go to month, you could do a day snapshot, you could do a week, but I did schedule. And then I, screen, I took the snapshot by clicking on the Chrome extension, but give yourself some more room because I only have two events, most likely, you know, you'll have the whole um, page filled up. So you'd want to make that snapshot screenshot um, pretty big so you don't mess up there. But then the cool thing is that's another option. So you don't have to just um, use um, the monthly view like I did. And I'm sure there's a ton more things you can do. Um, that's just, I was looking to see if this was a possibility for smart class websites. And it is, by the way, if you haven't subscribed at YouTube or wherever you're watching this, I would love for you to do that. Um, just some important overview. Um, I think I did all of this, but you get five free snapshots at the time of this video, and then you have to pay. So keep that in mind. You can duplicate the same snapshot throughout and, you know, it doesn't count as an extra snapshot. So if we go over here, you know, you could add this calendar view, you know, just copy it and it could be in multiple places within your doc. Um, yeah. And so that's it. So please ask me any questions. Wasn't the best explanation of this, but I think it's so cool. I think it has a lot of potential. Let me know also how you think you might use it. I would love to hear um, what else you might be using this for. That would be awesome. Take care and I hope to see you in the next video.